hey guys welcome back um i just wanted to do a little video on um showing you guys the miles that little jeff gets we're not team just so everybody knows that watch that's watching this video we are not team um so these miles are just for a solo driver um also i'm gonna show you how to calculate your pay um and this will work for anybody that you know as long as you know how much you'll be getting paid you'll this will work for you this is the week that we came home um 1600 miles it's usually not that low whenever we come home you know usually it's right at 2000 maybe a little bit less but um that was what we got for week of um 921 that was the check so this means that um everything that he did from the previous week which we got home on the 17th which is a monday the 21st was a friday that's when he got paid for this so the week prior was when he did these miles and you can see the um usually we tell people that the average is between 24 to 27 2800 um really just depends on you know how it's set up um what they get you your the area you're in and things like that so if you notice down here at the bottom um this is actually the week we're on now that has not been paid and like i said it's um the 18th and this check is the 23rd so last week was actually 1678 and the reason that was um because we were supposed to have a delivery monday the job site was too wet so we actually had to wait till tuesday and um payroll cuts off on mondays here so it was about 1500 miles short that's actually going to roll over to this check so if you subtract 1500 miles from this it, it's around 24 i believe um so that that would average it back out so that's the only reason that this week um last week was so low was because it was 1500 miles short because of a load that was supposed to deliver monday but ended up having to be delivered tuesday and also people have been asking a lot about average average pay here at melton so the starting pay is 43 cents i believe that's for students so it's from 43 cents to 56 cents i believe it might be 58 but i believe it's 56. um so if you know your pay per per mile you can just plug it in here and it'll work for you um it obviously depends on your experience not everybody's gonna be paid the same so if we take the average miles here i would say this is about the average um 25.95 and you're gonna times it by your cents per mile so if you call a recruiter you tell them your experience i'm sure they can give you um your what you would be getting paid so if you want to do that to figure this out um how how you would be getting paid that's what you can do so i'm going to do it by 46 cents because that's about the average i mean it's three cents more than students so you know this is going to be probably about the median range um and you time you times it by 46 cents and it comes out to 11.93 that's going to be your gross pay so if you were to have a tarp load repower um you know we get paid 25 dollars for repowers here um any extra pay that you know would be going on there you can go ahead and add it here um i just did it like this because it's the, the easiest way this would be if you had no tarp loads no repowers no extra pay um so you're going to take this number and you're going to times it by your taxes um taxes here are about 30 percent. i don't know if they're the same everywhere but um every time i do it it's about 30 percent. so you're going to times it by 0.3 or 0 0.30 and it comes out to 358 dollars that's what they're going to charge you in taxes so you're going to want to take your gross pay and you're going to want to subtract your taxes and this comes out to your net pay or your take home um, I just want to do this for you guys because I know a lot of people ask um, if you know um, your cents per mile go ahead and plug it in here and do this and you'll get your gross pay and your net pay um, it just really depends on what you get paid that's that's really what it depends on but um, I also just wanted to show you guys the miles because I know people that this is one of the most important things when it comes to choosing a company so this right here I, I took it right off of the uh, settlements that little Jeff gets um, except for this one I just added it up for what we have this week but everything else has came off of the settlement sheet so 
um, just so you guys know, these are the miles since we've been out um, since September 17th. Also guys, anybody that wants insurance, they want to do the 401k thing, anything other than taxes being taken out, you're going to want to subtract that too right here. Um, we just don't have anything like that. Just the rider pass. Um, we had the pet pet pass being taken out, but that's, you know, that's been paid for already. So anything that you have taken out like taxes or, you know, child support, stuff like that. Um, you want to go ahead and subtract it right here and then that'll give you your net pay.